A massive weight's been lifted off Craig McLaughlin's shoulders. As you can imagine, we have a lot to say. It was Victoria's legal system that cleared the actor, who was in Sydney, to hear the verdict via video link. We've maintained a dignified and respectful silence for the past almost three years and put our trust in the law. He was the star of the Rocky Horror Show theatre production in 2014. Later, four women came forward with serious allegations, including that Mr McLaughlin kissed and inappropriately touched them without consent. The Logie Award-winning actor has always maintained his innocence, and today he was found not guilty of all seven indecent assault and six common assault charges. And here we are today. Magistrate Belinda Warrington said it was likely some of the alleged incidents did occur, but none of the charges could be proved beyond reasonable doubt using the 2014 legal standards. She said if current laws applied, it is possible the result may have been different and described the women who came forward as brave and honest. In her judgment, the magistrate said she was unable to exclude the possibility that an egotistical and self-entitled sense of humour led Craig McLaughlin to genuinely think one of the women was consenting to his actions. She also criticised Mr McLaughlin's lawyer Stuart Littlemore, saying questions put to witnesses about female genitals and women's looks were troubling. But Craig McLaughlin was full of praise for his lawyer. Exceptional captaincy his extraordinary energy and his humanity. Mr McLaughlin has launched defamation proceedings against the ABC and nine newspapers. That case could resume in the new year. I think she's <laughs> going to give me a smooch. There you I go. am. <laughs> Christian Silver, ABC News.